Hello, welcome back to another video and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. It's a tech review uh, of this Bluetooth cassette adapter. So sometimes I'll be repairing something and it, I might not quite be able to save it and so I was looking for ways in which I could bring older um, audio equipment back to life or maybe a way in which you could use it slightly different and I started looking at Bluetooth adapters so you could kind of strip the guts out and modernize older boom boxes or bits of kit like this but then whilst I was doing that I came across a, a Bluetooth cassette adapter and it's uh, I'm amazed that I hadn't come across them or thought of them earlier essentially it is just um you know a cassette shape so that it fits inside uh, a walkman or whatever you know a cassette player and inside it just has a uh, a head let's see if that focuses it has a head which acts like a tape so rather than the tape going across and providing data for the cassette head to read instead obviously the data changes electronically on there and is picked up by the head and then it plays back there um there are a couple of versions of this online so generally they have uh, a place to to charge the internal battery up they have and they have an on off switch um uh the difference is the one of the versions the first version i tried the on off button protruded out slightly and the, the problem with that was when you use uh, well, this model of Walkman, it's probably the same on other Walkmans, is when you inserted the tape, the button sat exactly where the arm was. And so that constantly depressed the button, meaning it would unpair and turn itself off. So I, went, I returned that one because it said it would work on any and it didn't, uh, and instead got this Bluetooth adapter. And this one has a sliding on off. And so it doesn't have that problem. Although I will say that when it's when used with a walkman you know how when you used to have a mobile phone near electronic items and you get that type noise for some reason on the walkmans you you get that coming through you get a little bit of the uh, the interference which isn't great however when i used it on the uh this panasonic um I didn't I didn't get that at all so I'll sh I'm going to demo it inside there but first of all first of all I thought I'd show you the inside so all it is is a shell to essentially hold the sensor there's four four screws which I've already un undone there and, and two on that side and inside you basically have just the battery so obviously you charge it up it, it, it charges the battery you have your Bluetooth receiver and then you have the information being sent over over to the head there. So super simple. Now inside this there was also some cogs. So it had these sat, uh, not, that, not that one, it had these sat inside like, like this to look more like a tape cassette and then there was a series of cogs and a, and a rubber band wheel etc to give some kind of resistance now i didn't like that because as it was playing rather than just moving a tape it was moving these cogs and gears and elastic bands and i could tell that the motor and you know everything didn't like it so what i've done is i've stripped out all that fake gubbins uh, and just rebuilt it without and then what that means now is when the tape tape deck is playing because you have to basically press play to activate it because you have to to tell your device to look for music if you just put it in it doesn't play just automatically play you have to kind of activate your head but what it means is with all that gubbin stripped out the um the, the cassette uh what it spindles will just turn in the middle they won't even have any friction so you're not going to wear out your your electronic equipment uh, more than you have to so um i'm just going to pop two screws back in i probably probably wouldn't need any but i'll just pop two in now, if i was a professional this would probably be a a cut in the video but feel free to fast forward 10 seconds so i'll just pop those on so Usually I would play, you know, you'd have your, your phone and you'd, you'd Bluetooth connect to this and you'd just very quickly play. But as I'm recording with my phone, what I've done is the computer just in the other end of the room. I've connected my uh, my computer, paired, it, paired the computer with this. And then I've loaded up YouTube uh, with some copyright free music. It's by 
uh, like that audio and uh, I've just got a nice synth mix uh, there and I'll also, also um, link to them in the description if you if you want to follow them because you know when it's royalty free it's nice to, to support and what I'm going to do is go over and start the feed now so And it looks like I just need to repair. So if I turn this off, turn it on again, it'll flash red and blue whilst it's pairing. Now it's flashing blue, so it's paired. So I'll pop that in. That's now paired with the computer. I hit play, so it goes, it looks for the music. So as you can see, that's now Bluetoothing from the computer or your phone to the device being picked up once you press play and you get your music. So a great way to modernize your retro uh, stuff. It only cost around 15 pounds. Personally, I removed the gubbins because I found that it was putting a strain on the spindles trying to turn it rather than rotating free freely through there. But what you'll notice is on for some reason on the Panasonic, I'm not getting that kind of breakthrough of um, uh, transmission which I got on the Walkman so you know it's going to depend on your device but all in all uh, I just thought it was a really good item that you know you could have friends round you know you just get them to pair to the device and you can play modern music through your sound speed setup if you didn't want to use a cassette or something like that so anyway that's been my tech review of um, one of many I mean I can't remember what brand this was of a Bluetooth cassette adapter I hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. See ya.